Um, I am currently editing this video, this precise video that you're watching. I realized that I never actually explained or gave a timeline of what I am studying in this video. I was just so disheveled that I never actually had time to sit down and explain everything. The first two weeks of January, I had two weeks off between semesters. This year, we only have one exam in May and it, in January we have like a two week break between semesters and then we jump right into the next semester's rotation and I knew that I wanted to make use of those two weeks to study there was the opportunity to reset exams if I wanted to I only ended up sitting on one exam because the second exam that I wanted to retake was changed to an oral exam in like the week before it was said that it would be a written exam and then my college was just like, no, we are going to make this an oral exam. And I was just like, okay, then I won't take it because I like to make things difficult for myself, but not that <laughs> like hateful. That's just spiteful. So I ended up just sitting one exam, which was pediatrics. I presented my report on the 27th of December for internal medicine. And my OBGYN rotation was going to start on the 16th. Of January and the pediatrics exam was on the 24th of January. It was kind of a difficult situation to manage until a certain point I didn't know that I was only going to take pediatrics and so um, that's kind of why I was studying hematology, nephrology because I thought that I was going to be taking the other exam. That's also why you're going to see me at a certain point start the OBGYN rotation. I was just um, trying to study and revise and memorize as much as I possibly could and outside of any great improvement that could have possibly happened it didn't but that could have possibly happened um I think the fact that I was really focused and really goal oriented was great for starting the year and really set the tone for the rest of the semester in my perspective. I studied basically almost all of pediatrics in like two weeks. It was really intense and um, yeah, I hope I kind of explained the timeline. I, I know it's kind of a mess, but yeah, enjoy and happy studies. I hope this is inspirational and motivational to a certain degree.
This is future me jumping in uh, because I'm so so happy to be partnering with Lecturio in today's video. You may know them because we've worked together before. Lecturio is a well-rounded resource for healthcare students like medical students or nursing students. They have such a broad range of lectures, concept pages, and questions in their question bank from the preclinical years to clinical years with teaching experts teaching these different specialties that you can have access to. Now, I'm going to have my board exam in the end of the year and you see me kind of inflict on myself the finals that I'm retaking, not so much as passing anything, but more so as to realizing my strengths and my weaknesses as a student, what I need to invest my time on, trying to challenge myself in areas that I know that I'm not comfortable with. It's nice to have in such a big chunk of time little energy bursts and little reminders to not study passively but really try to interact with ma the material in a question setting and that's why i think like self-assessments and exams are so important when studying for board exams because they really allow you to understand where you need to invest more time in but really in the comfort of your home and your privacy you don't have to display your results they're really just for yourself and to understand your progress throughout your time studying so lecturio self-assessment was created to help students measure their preparedness and get first-hand experience in a simulated usmle testing environment so it's based on the latest nbme standards and includes 160 case questions organized into four blocks and each block is an hour long just like on step one or step two exams and later to provide an accurate comparison to previous self-assessments the students will receive a three-digit predicted score you can register now until the 19th of february the self-assessment is going to uh, happened during the week of 20th to the 27th of February and then the results will be published in the 2nd of March So I will leave all of this information and the personal link where you can sign up for the self-assessment if you so wish or desire In the description box. Thank you so much to Lecturio for working with me and thank you so so much to all of you for making this possible <laughs> Today's Thursday, so there's only three more days until my OBGYN internship starts. I haven't really started studying anything OBGYN related because I'm really focusing on the exams for now. And it's not like I really go into rotations knowing a lot. The process is going to make me learn and experience is going to make me learn so much more than books. This weekend, I'm just going to continue with hematology, nephrology, and pediatrics. I'm excited because I finally charged my tablet and I've forgotten to charge my tablet for the longest time. And yesterday I was I realized that I haven't read any book yet this January. I'm a really big mood reader. So like I read a thousand books at the same time. Here I have like a lot of other books that may fit my mood. So I finally charged it and I'm excited to pick one on the train. I think I hadn't charged this since November. I just for forget. I'm gonna just eat some fruit and then we're gonna go to campus and study the whole day. I'm excited. I'm 
need to study just a little bit more. Actually, I'm gonna do like, try to do two lectures of pediatrics. I'm dividing my lectures for the days that I have left until the exam. If I don't do these two lectures today, they're going to pile up for another day that I'm gonna be even more stressed. So might as well do them now. While I'm still in the beginning, while I still have time, and so I don't pile up, so I have to do four lectures in a day later on. Normally, I'm a fan of doing the hardest lectures first, but since it's already midnight and I've had a pretty long study day for me, I'm gonna try and choose like two very short ones. afternoon slash day but i just get so focused while i'm there that i just completely forget about everything else yesterday i studied mostly nephrology and pediatrics i have three more days to study that so i've been noticing a lot of improvement on my questions but i'm not sure if the questions because i've been doing questions from the academy to prepare so i'm not sure if the questions are going to be the similar vibe i need to do practice questions from previous exams and i hate that i thought for some reason things have just been so packed in lisbon for some reason this past semester places that i used to find super empty and free are now super packed also the book that i picked yesterday in case you're curious was Contemporary Lit, what do you think I picked? <laughs> I went with Sally Rooney. The only book that I read from her was Conversations with Friends, and it was a couple years ago. Like, I think I gave it f three stars. Like, it wasn't great, but it wasn't awful to me. So far, it's interesting, but it's not, like, it doesn't wow me. You know what would be really cool? If from that first chapter, it went on for like a thriller slash mystery. Like, that would be really cool one of them dies or something like that or something happens in the house i should finish the book i never finish books because i'm halfway through dracula of course i'm halfway through green gables so i should take either one of these instead of starting a new book he's already by the door because he knows i'm gonna go So I decided to come home earlier. I stayed in the coffee shop until 2. Ollie today in the morning really struck a chord with me. I felt like he was really lonely. When I got home, I played a lot with him immediately. And right now he's sleeping and I'm going to have some soup right next to him. Before I went home, I actually went to see some books, obviously. They basically put the books that are kind of better than Bruce on sale after Christmas. And I obviously wanted to get something because you don't really get these prices on hardcovers. This is a sequel of a book that I've been meaning to read for the longest time, which is The Handmaid's Tale by Margaret Atwood. And I've heard that the first book is uh, awesome. And this sequel, The Testament, has some mixed reviews. <laughs> two students right there and they got here before me and so they had the heater next to them and I was starting to freeze 
updates on my current situation. Today is the 17th. Uh, my first exam is in exactly a week and the OBGYN rotation started yesterday. It's kind of time consuming. My tutor doesn't like me to leave early. She likes to see us there, but luckily tomorrow she's not gonna go. And we are gonna go to the OR in the same operating room anyways but it's going to be with another tutor, so I'm hoping that I can possibly leave at like noon, 1 p.m., which is a decent hour. I'm checking on my planner. I've been trying to time block. Today so far, I've done questions on Pete's. I started working only at 5 p.m. because I had lunch at 3. I'm going to continue watching pediatric lectures. So there's not much time left, but I think I'm gonna probably watch two more lectures and then I'm just going to at nine to like 11. From these charts, they're really useful. I'm going to revise hematology, nephrology.
today I got here super early. I'm very happy. Tea. Some coffee. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna do exercises and memorize stuff. Exercises. It really like gets my mind working. We are here again. I just got here. It's for I watched two surgeries. The surgeries are really interesting because they're laparoscopic, and so there's a little movie TV that you can watch. But I definitely need more time to study. Let's do this. It's now about midnight. Tomorrow's gonna be a full day for me. I have a class at nine. It's probably gonna be like a couple of hours, but hopefully I can leave earlier at like 11.30 to go to the exam. After the exam, I have emergency department hours for the OBGYN internship. We'll see. We'll see how tomorrow goes. I'm not too stressed. I'm just really glad that I was able to revise so much pediatrics. Ali jumped. You see? He stays there. He's, he does his biscuits first because his biscuits are really important and then he will sleep. We will sleep now. Good night. burnt beyond recognition he added looking at his wife as one looks at a valuable piece of personal property which has suffered some damage she held up her hands strong shapely hands and surveyed them critically drawing up her lawn sleeves above the wrists looking at them reminded her of her rings which she had given to her husband before leaving for the beach she silently reached out to him and he, understanding, took the rings from his vest pocket and dropped them into her open palm. She slipped them upon her fingers, then clasping her knees, she looked cross 